dear children now we will see uh, how to check whether the pairs given of the fractions are equivalent or not now two methods you have for the same to check whether the pairs of the fractions given are equivalent or not i am going to show both the methods and whichever is easier you can do the same okay now here you can see the question given as if the pairs are equivalent you will write e and if they are not then you will write ne okay now see the first question here 4 upon 5 upon a and the second one is 8 upon 10 now the first method you can do is we will reduce it to the lowest term so first fraction is already in the lowest term 4 upon 5 and the second one is 8 upon 10 now 8 and 10 both are divisible by 2 so you have to think in two table when does 4 uh, when does 8 come so 2 into which number 2 4 are 8 and 2 5 is a 10 okay so here you can see the simplified form is 4 by 5 and here also you have 4 by 5 so very well you can write that they are equivalent fine now what is the second method now second method is you will go for the cross multiplication cross product that is this way you are going to multiply so product of these two terms will be 4 into 10 that is 40 and 8 is a 40 here this you have done cross product fine so here also you can see both are equal so here you can write that they are equivalent let us see now the second question uh, let me take it as 6 upon 9 and 3 upon 2 this you have to check whether the pairs of fractions given are equivalent or not so uh, method 2 what is the method 2 that is cross product so here you will go for 6 2 are 12 and here 9 3 are 27 and here you can see very well that 12 is not equal to 27 so here you can write it that they are not equivalent now what was your first method that is here you had reduced it to the lowest term so 6 upon 9 and 3 upon 2 these were the fractions given they are the prime numbers so it is already in the reduced term here you can see both the numbers are divisible by 3 okay so 3 into which number is 6 3 2 are 6 and 3 3 are 9 so here you are getting 2 upon 3 and this is your 3 upon 2 okay are they equal no so you can write that they are non equivalent fine let's go with the third example now see now i am giving 7 upon 10 and the next one is 28 upon 40 okay uh shall i do with one method only now uh, say uh, we will reduce it few questions we will reduce it and then again few more questions we will uh, go for the cross product so here i am going to do method one only okay now what was the method one that is you have to reduce it to the lowest term here they are already in the reduced form now for the second fraction 28 upon 40 both the numbers are divisible by uh 4 okay so here 4 into which number is 28 4 7s are 28 and 4 10s are 40 so here you have 7 upon 10 and here also you have 7 upon 10 so here you can write that they are equivalent okay if you are doing method 2 then what was your method 2 you have to go with the cross product so 7 into 40 and 28 into 10 so here you have 7 fours are 28 and 10 and 28 tens are 280 
so here also you can say that they are equivalent okay now few questions i am giving you for practice you can do it on your own okay take this example uh, do it on your own 1 upon 6 and 2 upon 3 very easy very easy you can do it on your own uh, let me give one more uh, say 50 upon 80 and 30 upon 20 okay whenever this type of questions are given where 0 is at the end or 1's place then here simply you can cut the digits that is 0 0 you will cut it so here you have the reduced form as 5 upon 8 and 3 by 2 okay and you can see that they are non equivalent 5 2's are 10 and 8 3's are 24 okay and straight way you can write it as non equivalent okay one more question I am giving say 21 upon 25 and 63 upon 75 remember that whenever bigger numbers are given it's always easy to reduce it rather than you go for cross product it will be easy to reduce it and find it out whether they are equivalent or not here you can see that when you multiply 21 and 75 it's a large number okay and 63 into 25 also instead of that you can reduce it to the lowest form and check whether the fractions given are equivalent or not suppose here 21 upon 25 do both the numbers come in the same table no so it's already in reduced form fine now 63 upon 75 when these two numbers we want to check you know that the numbers are not even so it's not divisible by 2 when we go for the next prime number that is 3 so 6 plus 3 is 9 and 7 plus 5 is 12 both the numbers are divisible by 3 okay so 63 divided by 3 will be 21 and 75 divided by 3 will be 25 25 3 is a 75 and 21 3 is a 63 and here you can see the 21 upon 25 and 21 upon 25 okay the reduced form you can see that they are equal so very well you can write as equivalent fine so what you have seen that is whenever the large numbers are given you can reduce it whenever small numbers are given you can always cross multiply the numbers and see whether the pair of fractions are equivalent or not okay i am giving you few more questions for practice let us uh, do that uh, do this question 4 upon 5 6 upon 8 then 2 upon 6 4 upon 12 uh, 2 upon 4 3 upon 6 you can go with 72 upon 90 4 upon 5 do this question also 63 upon 70 14 upon 35 and 7 upon 8 and 12 upon 16